Shoo! What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode. Before we jump into today's video, gotta say huge shout out to Manscaped for sponsoring today's video. If you've followed my channel for a while, you know I'm a huge fan of Manscaped and their Perfect Package Kit, which is an all-in-one grooming collection for the modern day man. But we gotta get a little bit serious here, folks, okay? April is National Testicular Cancer Awareness Month. I don't know if you guys knew that or not, but it is. Which is why I wanna take a quick second here and talk about men's health issues. Did you know one man every hour of every day is diagnosed with testicular cancer. It is the most common form of cancer in men age 15 to 35. Manscaped has partnered up with Testicular Cancer Society to spread awareness for men's health and early cancer detection. You guys at home can perform simple routine self checks while enjoying Manscaped products like their Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant, their Crop Mop Ball Wipes, and the Skin Safe Lawnmower 3.0 Body Body trimmer like this one I've got right here. You guys can click the link down below and go to manscaped.com slash TCS and learn how to check yourself. Okay, folks, check yourself for early detection for testicular cancer. It's not weird. Okay, it's normal. Stay safe out there and check yourself. And as always, you can use promo code FLAIR to get 20% off and free shipping on anything on manscaped.com. The best part is every single purchase at manscaped.com goes towards contributions to Testicular Cancer Society. Join the Manscaped movement, folks, and don't forget to take care of your pair. Visit manscaped.com to learn more about how you can support testicular cancer awareness or make a donation to Testicular Cancer Society today and save lives and your balls. With that being said, enjoy the rest of today's video. Shoo! What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode. Starting the day off, we are up here at the shop. It is time. We are getting a new toy. I feel like it's been a while. Maybe it hasn't been that long. It's Is that ice? Yeah, it's, why is it so cold? There's, there's, there's ice in there, buddy. Why is it so cold? But this guy here, this is the infamous mini ATV that I spent like $3,200 on. We can barely, barely get it started, oh okay? Uh, it's not gonna start now, it's got flat tires. We need to get this thing fixed up. This thing was our pride and joy as the first four wheeler we ever got. We used to do wheelies up and down that. It was a good time. Now, no, nah, I'm all right. Not, no, us, not, us not you got it, not you got it. Throw it you got it, now you got it. So we are gonna be taking the mini ATV, it is freaking so windy out here. We're gonna be taking the mini ATV into the shop to get fixed, not not this shop, like an actual workshop, to get fixed. Um, but the reason why we're taking it there is because we are hoping to come home with a new toy for the ranch. As you guys have seen, unless you're new here, bought a ranch and we need to fill it with toys just like we have here. Now, I've already got like three mules and a bunch of other stuff, so we've got enough mules. I don't think we're gonna buy any more side-by-sides, but ATVs, we're gonna be using ATVs out there a lot. Um, it's a lot easier to explore, especially like the tight areas and stuff. And now I already have a four-wheeler here, but I, I wanna leave the four-wheeler here because sometimes we use a four-wheeler here. I need to plow snow, even though it's not winter. Anyways, we're getting another four-wheeler. We're not sure which one we're gonna go look at them, but the four-wheelers are what we're gonna be using for the food plot. So that's gonna be used to have, like put a big sprayer on the back of it and spray the crops or the grass to kill it and maybe using one of those like little tillers. I've seen a bunch of, uh, they're like big giant attachments for side-by-sides and four-wheelers where it, it'll like disc and it'll plant the seed and then it'll like cover it and cultipack it all in one. It's like an all-in-one food plot deal. We're thinking about getting Getting one of those we're not sure how good they are like if it's actually gonna be worth something or if it's all like marketing and stuff like that but we need to get a four-wheeler for these purposes basically for land management we need a workhorse of a four-wheeler for land management where you gotta have a sprayer on there and run around it getting like this to do the food pots because instead of buying a tractor for you know fifty sixty thousand dollars and all the attachments you can do it a lot cheaper using a four-wheeler and you can get into places like the little tight crevices a lot easier with a four-wheeler plus four-wheelers are a good time aren't they banjo yes sir you like falling off of them i've never fallen off one i've thrown you off oh, one really? you have thrown me off yeah yeah i threw you off one all right so we are going to take this in hopefully they can get it fixed up ideally we get this thing up and running so we can rip it around um but right now we got the mule on there we got to take the mule off of there and pick this up because this thing doesn't run put it on the trailer head up to the northeast and drop it off hopefully they can fix it and then shop around and see what they have that's available for us to purchase today and then we're going to take that four-wheeler down to the ranch and we're going to buy the attachments for at least some of them i do have a tiller already it's like a small little atv one that's in the shop and that I'm gonna get and then like one of those big tank sprayers that have like the boom arm in the back We're gonna try to buy one of those and get that set up Basically get this sucker ready to start getting the food plots going because we're gonna try doing a couple different methods for food plots Some of them are like the no-till method where you like spray the grass and kill it and there we're gonna get into the deer hunting 
really hot and heavy this year. So we wanna make sure we, that we've got all the supplies for it. So with that being said, let's get the mule off, ATV on, and head up and go get a new four-wheeler for the abandoned high fence ranch. You guys stay tuned. That sounded good. That's how you be. That's how you don't break things. That's how you keep things. We only keep things in the nicest of conditions here. Hood, hood. Okay. Like like that. What, what's that move? I don't know. <laughs> Hang on. Just let it rest. Just let it. Just let it rest. Need a break. My hands are cold. Oh. The metal's really cold. Hey, you got it, Banjo. Now you got Yo. it. You got it. Which way you want to pull on this side? Oh, there's a handlebar yeah. right here. Hang on. All right. Yeah, you can just get it over that lip. All right, ready? Yeah. One. Three. This is the world's largest trailer for the world's yeah. smallest four wheeler. <laughs> We're good to go. Shoo! We made it, folks. Time to buy a four wheeler. According to the parking lot, there's like four ops. Uh, normally, this place has a whole lot. Maybe they sold a bunch. Maybe. Uh, they got them hiding in the back somewhere. I'm not really sure, but um, yeah, we got old beauty here. She's uh, the funny thing is the, the mountain's gonna probably cost to get this thing run. It's probably about what it's worth, but whatever. I think that thing's a beauty. We got to get her back up and running. So, anyways, let's go. I'm just gonna start kind of walking around here, I guess. See if there's anything that can't live without. But I mean, according, like I said, according to their inventory over here, there's like there's like four four of them. You want to trade? Oh, oh, what? excuse me. What? Wait, what's going on here? Rip. Okay. All right. Oh snap! Oh god, banjo, banjo. Oh snap! God, you yeah. think you need this? this is the old it can't be worse answer. than the ones we have. Mine, I feel like I break every mule I have. This is the, like this is the top of the line, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. This, this is like this heat AC power windows. Oh, it's got power windows. Yeah, but not in the back, but the front. The back just oh, has god, pop yeah. out ones. But they're power windows. They oh, should. Neat. Oh, there's a horn. Oh, we have to get it then. No, there's a. His button says horn on the side. There's a horn. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This thing. There's. Is there a radio in this thing? Man, we got. I feel like we got to get one of these suckers. I think we got to do the old trade in. We might need to trade one of our other ones in. This thing's freaking nice, dude. It's similar and it's camo, which you just can't beat that. This thing's freaking sweet. Man, I didn't know they had one of these things. Otherwise, I probably would have came in. I mean, you think we can throw a ATV and a side by side on the trailer? I think we could double her up. Take take her both of them. There's nothing wrong with dropping. Fifty thousand dollars in one day? Why not? Uh, anyways, yeah, no, we're not buying that today. Thing is cool though. I wouldn't mind maybe potentially getting one of those. Maybe before like next winter, we can we can live without like the bougie heat and stuff like that. We have one that has heat and AC, but I don't think we really need another one right now. Over here, so they've got. They've got like five. Dude, every time we've been here, it's loaded. So this is a King Quad. This is a 500. That's a 570. This thing looks kind of cool. I yeah, kind of like huge. the look of that. That's the old Polaris. And then yeah, yeah. the old Yami Grizzly. So this is, I already, I already have a Yamaha. And mine's a 700, which I think that's what this is. This doesn't have a winch though. Which I don't see, the tires aren't that aggressive on it. Compared to our other one looks way nicer than this, to be honest with you. But these are the three. And then these ones are, oh, that's a 750. That's the old Cal Kawasaki, and then there's a Can Am. Which this is, is this the thousand? This is the, oh, it can't, comes with a plow too. This thing's probably $27,000. Oh, no, it's only 570. That's not that crazy then. That that probably wouldn't be that. Th these are super bougie though, super you know bougie. Bo really? Why not? You think that thing would make a nice food plot? Yeah. I feel like it would probably make a nice food plot. You could, you could definitely hook up a little plow behind it or something like that. So, wow, our options are very, very limited. Not, what's Bull Dead doing? Yeah, you got the all razor going. We have, we've never had a razor. That'd be kind of fun. We really we could just jam we could jam out and just start cruising. You like that? Well, there's really not much. Well, I guess I, I they, there might be some inside. I didn't think about that. We'll go ahead and we'll go inside and see what else they got. But we're we're thinking we need something at least as powerful as one we already have, which is a 700. Just because if you're gonna be plowing and towing like the farm equipment with them, you gotta have some power with it. And I feel like the 570, like this to me, I think it looks the coolest. Yeah. But sure. being a 570, I'm a little worried it's gonna be slightly underpowered for if we end up getting that like all in one food plot deal. And you could be like, well, you could just pull, pull it behind one of our side-by-sides, or we could actually use the other ATV that we have. And I thought about doing that. We could always switch. We could swap, right? We could get a new four-wheeler today and keep this current, four, the four-wheeler we're about to buy today at the house and take the four-wheeler that we already have at the house and take that one to the ranch because that one is a 700 and we could go with something smaller like this. But then I'm like, would you, would you actually be mad to get more horsepower? I feel like there's never a time where I'm like, man, this 700, I wish it was a 550. Like no one's ever said that before. So, I feel like more the merrier.
earlier, but within reason. Start getting above that 700, you're getting those 850s, 1000s, you're talking like $15,000. So anyways, we'll see what they got inside. You think it'll make it? Uh, I don't think it'll have enough to go up. You can probably, try, probably but... Not. You got four wheel drive on? Yeah. It's, it's got right. clearance, but... Oh, yeah. Oh, I feel like this thing's gonna flip. You got it, you're good. You got it? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> you almost had it. All right, probably should put the, probably should put the ramp. <laughs> yeah, do it one more time. <laughs> I ain't trying to break it in the Come on. Oh, you got to warranty. see we end up getting the old 700 Yamaha we almost we were this close to buying that Polaris 570 that was tan and looked cool but I needed the extra horsepower I didn't want to regret getting something weak and, and just kind of puny it, I like after having we literally have this exact one by the way like the one at my house it's just a different trim level there's just different tires and wheels and different color but I did it's the same body and we've we, honestly I'll be honest we've loved it like it's got I like the rack system I think the rack system superior to like all the rest of them the power is always there we've never struggled with power whether we're plowing snow or towing something <coughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I paid more for this one than I paid for the last one, and the last one came with cooler wheels, cooler tires, better paint, and a winch. But it was one of those, like, if we wanted exactly one of that I already had or had a cooler one, we'd be waiting three or four months, and nobody has time for that. The time to start getting ready for deer season is now. So, we're going tractor supply. We're going to get some food. We got to get some more deer corn. We're out of that. And then we're also going to try to get a sprayer for the back. It's one of those big tank. They should hopefully have one here. Big tank sprayer with, like, the boom. And again, we've got different tactics for the food plots and one of them includes like spraying chemicals and killing stuff off and just having a sprayer in general is not a bad idea. You can spray fertilizer, you can do a bunch of other stuff. So we're gonna go in, try to get some food for the animals, get a sprayer, get the stuff ready for today. And then we are headed out to the ranch. You guys stay tuned. Oh yeah. That's oh, those. You're not allowed to touch them, you'll hurt your back. Yeah, that's how you did your That's true. Oh, my yeah, back. Yeah, okay. back out. I blew my back out and that's just never a good six. thing. But let's go ahead and yeah, give it the old six. Six is always a good number. The other thing we need to do is let's get uh let's find a big water. Hey, how's that going? Big water for the for the birds. Yeah. Our birds are running in the water every two seconds. I feel like we need to buy something that's large for them. Like one of the bigger, bigger, like the, the bigger jug, bigger chugger. Yeah. Yes. Like what about the easy filled? Yes. 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 You want two of them? One for the pigeons and one for. The well, let's yeah. let's try it. Sometimes those kind of, those like low key suck. Yeah. Like they leak. That? Handles up to seventy five birds. Yeah, five gallons. Ooh. That would, Holy that would, we'll, let's just try one. Okay. If it works, we'll come back. Cause I, I have, like I've tried those, those leak. The only ones that don't leak are honestly these ones because it's like the, the gravity of it. So actually yeah. let's just get both. All right. Uh, oh, we need food for the chickens and the, and right the, and the pigeons, I guess. So cause we might as well give let's give them their own, give them their own feed. There's that's scratch grains, which is for pretty much everything. Yeah. Two bags. yeah. We should have plenty of, uh, oh, oh, oh I see him. He's right here. <laughs> you got it. Did you see where he went from? Yeah, block that side, Jaden. I can't see him from here. Oh, I see him. Is he behind this green box? Yeah, behind that green box. Block it up right there, right next to your hand, right there. Yeah, I'm blocking it. Oh, oh yeah, you, oh. you got him. There you got him. Hey, hey, thanks. We're good. This little <laughs> sucker got away. Shoo! That's what we're after. Boomless, what we think. Boomless goes to 36 feet, which I feel like, yeah, look at that. that he's getting it right there. Yeah. 36 feet. That's what we want our ATV looking like. You got that thing sitting on it. You got the, they call it boomless, but to me, it looks like a boom. Shoots 36 feet. That way we could kill anything. We could fertilize anything and manage it. This is going to be our basically workhorse of a four wheeler. And so then you've got like, this one's a spot sprayer, but this is, doesn't this come with that too? What's like uh, both, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, the wand. Oh, oh yeah, he buddy strapped in the back. Yeah. So that way if I see a I see a bush, I'm just like you know what I'm saying? So and I don't really like the drag behind ones because then if you're going over logs and bumps and can't turn as sharp. Yeah, that one you're gonna be able to whip around. It, it is the most expensive one out here, but that's nothing new here. So four hundred and forty dollars for that sucker. We're gonna buy this. We need a battery for it, I think, and then we should be good. We got some deer crack corn here. We'll end up grabbing a few bags of those, and we should be good to go. Shoo! 
we made it to the ranch, ladies and gentlemen. It is time. We've got to get this guy situated. This whole, the back of the truck, we got loaded down with grain, which isn't for here. This, this, for, by the way, the sweet feet is not for the deer. They're for our animals, but we already tractor supply. But we do have four bags of whole corn um, that we're going to throw probably in those, the feeders. So we have got one gravity over there and we got a bunch more. We're assuming that they've went through most of our mineral and supplement. We don't have any more of it. We went through like an entire pallet of it. We have to, we have to order some more. Um, they munch, they munch through. But we got some corn at least to get them to keep coming back to the feeders over the next week. That's the idea. Keep them comfortable with those feeders. But Big Daddy, you have the key? it's the gray ghost right there. That you, you like that? I don't know, but Casper, you think you think I'm gonna send it? Just send it right off? Oh, yeah. I think it'll be all right. All right. Yeah. Well, let's give her hell. things first banjo you know the rules check the tires we're not trying to get any flatties they look good no they definitely are way too loose wait too loose loose but they're, they're, they're not air, loose they're not aired off they're not aired they might uh, be loose you never know air up the tires check the mule tires we're gonna put the sprayer on first and we're gonna kind of do some adventuring around now that we got the four wheel we're gonna be able to go in places we haven't gone before so we're gonna hopefully take you guys along with us and uh well you guys enjoy Shoo! new boom sprayer we're ready to get this thing put together we got this guy in oh yeah we'll make sure we fill up the fill up the tires on this but gonna put the sprayer together set it on top of here and get the battery going and then we also have a small little tiller um that i got last year whenever i'm using it but oh god this thing's about to be this is this is a beast we're about to we're about to get some work done so first things first air up the tires get the spare hooked up get the battery hooked up and then we'll go out kind of we don't have anything to test it with i guess we could throw some water in there maybe but the idea is just kind of get it up and running today with that being said you guys stay tuned You, boy, you boys killed it. Thank you. I, I went off. I had big business meetings, but these guys, they've got it figured out. They got the straps down. We got a nap on the couch inside. I didn't take no nap. They got the battery hooked up right here. This this is a land management machine. This thing is going to be an absolute beast. Got the tires aired up. We got the sprayer with this little boom nozzle thing that you can shoot out in all these different directions and fill up with chemicals. We're going to do that pretty soon. Pretty soon we're going to have to start killing off where we want the food plots. This is all in brome grass. So you got to kill that off. A bunch of other stuff. We still have room up here. So here's kind of my thought. Let me know what you guys think, you, you food plot guys. So I'm thinking about doing the no-till method, which basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna kill all this off. You're gonna plant buck or something similar, like a cover crop. It grows up and then you have to walk and hand spread and it lays the seeds inside of the tall grass. And then you go back and spray and kill and cold to pack it. And it basically makes a blanket and then that blanket dies, but then the seeds grow. Okay, that's, if you guys aren't familiar with that, you're, this question doesn't apply to you. But my thought is what if we get a spreader and somehow mount it to the front? Cause then I don't have to walk walk around on foot because you don't want to take a four-wheeler in there because then you'll mash down the cover crop and you want to throw the seeds down before you mash it down. So you want to broadcast the seeds by walking and then go back in with the four-wheeler. But if you put the spreader on the front, it would shoot the seeds in front of you and then you could just drive the four-wheeler and you could spray and you could cold to path all at the same time. That's a thought. Or we could get one of those, I think they're plot masters maybe is a company that makes some, there's a company that makes a attachment that does everything. It discs, it has a seed box, it lays the seed down and then it's got a drag that covers covers the seed and then it's got a colta packer that packs it down and it's like an all-in-one they're like four grand five six seven grand they're super expensive but i did just spend ten thousand dollars on a four-wheeler for no reason so maybe we could get one of those if any of you guys have legit experience with those like all-in-one big atv machinery pieces let me know i don't know if they're good or not i have watched some youtube videos they're kind of cringe most of them that i found um and they're also made by the manufacturers so that's a little bit biased but it seems like that would be the easiest thing because you could pull it behind this you'd have your sprayer and 
you and you can put the bags of seed up there and you would get it done quick because we've got probably I would say a minimum of two food plots I would like to do three um, just to kind of do some experimental stuff But I would like to do three food plots on this property I want to do at least one if not two food plots at my house and then we've got the farm which we could put probably three food plots on three different sections out there so I need to have like a very efficient way to plant food plots where I can have a four-wheeler banjo can have four-wheeler pool jet have a four-wheeler and we'll all just run around and like you know within that means we got to buy another one I guess don't we? no you got a meal you can take a meal no, no, take no, take no, a meal no, no, no. oh the mini no oh, mini. oh you can <laughs> imagine if we're playing food plots and you're in the mini with like a little hand sprayer like a backpack sprayer and you're just like I'm in. So we want to find a super efficient way to do food plots without, without going and buying a 50, 60, 70 thousand dollar tractor and giant attachments and implements and stuff like that. Cause that just seems like too much money. Even though this is expensive, don't get me wrong. This combo right here is like 11 grand, no, like 10,500. But it, it's, we're, we're trying to find like a little cheaper way of doing it without going full tractor mode. Plus I feel like this is kind of cool having that. Cause in, you can use a four wheel for other things. Tractors, what are tractors good for? Nothing. This guy, this guy, I can do whatever. So anyways, this is how this sucker works. You got it. Charged up there, Banjo flips this switch. Ooh. Starts vibrating. We don't have any water. I just realized we don't have a hose to fill it up with. So we can't really try it, but you got a little hand sprayer. So that way you can spot treat. Psst, psst. Banjos can shoot people. Um, and then wow. this thing, so this, Sorry. yeah, see this turn. So if you want it to shoot straight out and then this shoots straight down and then this one shoots straight out, you flip on and off and whatever. So that's this, we're gonna take this guy around. We gotta break it in. Supposedly you're supposed to spend the first 10 hours at half throttle, definitely not gonna happen. The best way to break something in is go full throttle as much as you possibly can. Well, that's how we break things and I wouldn't recommend that. But that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this thing around. You guys are gonna follow me with the corn. We got some corn and we're gonna go run around and fill the feeders. We're also gonna check trail cameras that are on the feeders and hopefully take the new ATV somewhere we've never been before on this property and do some exploring and maybe find some sheds. You gotta stay tuned. Oh yeah. Sure. I love it because it's the same one I already have, so like I already know how to use it. And like I said, it's 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 reliable. I trust it. Oh god. She got some get up and go, baby. Woo! Alright, well, we're gonna go. Actually, I don't know where I'm going, so I need to go to the first the first feeder. We're gonna go exploring here. Ooh, look at that trail. Hang on. See, we, this is so, oh my gosh. I should have taken my other four wheeler here sooner. This is so much faster to find sheds. Look at this trail right here. Oh, this is a heck of a trail. There's another one right there on the left. Oh, there's another one right there, in there. Look how many trails there are. All right, well, I'm gonna go. You got go, we're meet at the feeder. I'm just exploring. I'm looking for sheds right now. Oh yeah, this is, look at this. Oh, I, lo I love four wheelers, something about them. They're just so much more agile, so much more fun. I feel like I can just, I go on more adventures, I can explore, you know what I'm saying? So, we can go through here. I don't see any sheds yet. We're gonna circle back to the feeder. Uh, it's the one that's right by the cabin. This one's got the most here. So we're gonna check the cams and review some footage for you guys, uh, so you can see what we've been getting on cam. But I would say like 95% of the bucks have shed their antlers. I've seen a couple little guys still, but most of them are probably uh, pretty much shed, so. We're gonna pull up here. Here's our feeder, there's our camera. Oh, we still got some in there. See, I like the four-wheeler, because I can climb up top here. Let's see what we got going. Oh, there's still quite a bit, about half. So we're doing better than I thought, but we'll go ahead and dump. Top it off one I bag. would say throw one bag, and then we'll do a half a bag on the ground, just to get them all fired up and excited and excited about life. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get her all filled up. Oh, God, yeah. You said half on the ground. There you go. Now, no, normally you're supposed to just keep this filled with protein, but we don't have any more and we used all of it, so we want to make sure if we're not back here before it ends, they've got something. And Banjo's going to do the old mixy. Oh, yeah. You, get, you giving it a good mix? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I feel like that would make your protein go further. Now, they might not, they might eat less or they might eat more. What do you what do you think? I wonder if they did a study on that. Because they only eat a little bit. It's not their food source and they know it. It's just yeah. protein. But corn is. So, so what if on both. What if you gave them both? Do you think they would consume more protein that way or less? I would assume less. There wasn't a thing in there. Rip. I don't know if it fell out somewhere. Big doozy. Yeah. Fell out. The little, the little, little screw pin. Thing. But yeah, I'd say open up half a bag. We'll dump it on the ground. That way they get all excited and whatnot. And then, oh yeah, we need to go, we're gonna go through the pictures here. So, let's go ahead and check the footage. Oh, look at us, there's us chilling. See us right there? Big That's us. Oh, we got deer. That was this morning. Really? You think it's a shed buck? Ah, 
it's kind of it's kind of grainy. Pixelated for me. It's a little grainy on the computer. It shows up a little better. That's just the old mobile. But either way, we're not really concerned if it's a shed buck because it's brown. It's brown. That's all that matters. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, because you don't know. You don't know if it's just gonna be a little guy or a big guy. But that was this morning. We got a little action there. Oh, we still got a carrier. That's the unicorn. Look at Buddy. Oh, he he's just got, got one. He's got the one just curled. Yeah. He's a big unicorn guy. He ain't dropping yet. All right, so he gave it the old good munch. That's a big bodied guy there. I bet that's a buck. Yeah, that looks like that's a unicorn. No, I think that's a shed though. Shed buck. See the little dimples on above uh, its eye. It's kind of hard to tell with the grass, but all right. So we're gonna keep going. Yep, we got more deer. That's nice. Those are some nice. Oh, okay. We're that it went to nighttime, I guess. Oh, that was earlier in the morning. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of deer. Okay. Yeah. See, they like the, they like the feeder though. They got to figure it out. It took it took them a little while. To get it figured out but once they got it figured out all right we're gonna zoom out here a little bit more pictures oh there we go now we can see i mean just i'm i'm showing you guys this one so we can obviously look at i look at it all the time but get an idea of how many deer are using this and get kind of just get kind of get an idea it's kind of hard to see them now they're kind of far away there we go okay yeah you got it. I was putting it in here. Oh, oh okay. So they know to eat it. I mean, pretty much, I would say every morning and every evening. These, they're just dialed. They, they, yeah, they're dialed. They they like the old... Uh, it's it's not as fun watching this in the spring when they don't have antlers because then it's not like, oh, look at that. It, oh, look at that. That might be a buck, might be a doe. You don't really know. That rhyme. Call me Dr. Seuss. Oh, wow. Look at that one. There are five deer, Banjo. Ooh, that is there. a herd oh, and a half. Oh, my goodness. Herd and a half there, Pool J. You like that? Half. So, I mean, I would say they like this area. I would say, and the fact that there's five of them together, to me, says more than likely they're either young bucks or a lot of does. Most yeah. mature bucks don't hang out in a group like that. Doesn't mean they won't. Doesn't mean they won't. They might, maybe, potentially. But I'm just showing you guys the last couple of days, there's deer here, lots of deer. And uh, it's it's quite obvious there's a lot of deer. So, you know, as, oh, oh, we got turkeys. Oh, hey, really? how's it going? Look at this guy. It's loading. Oh, hey. Gobblers. Ooh, that bearded. He's got it. That's a nice beard on that guy. So might be going turkey hunting. Might be might be going turkey hunting soon. We'll see. Obviously, it's spring. And we can turkey hunt. We can't deer hunt as of right now with the fence up. But we could turkey hunt. So if you guys want to see turkey hunting videos, let us know. Anyways, first feeder filled or ish. We're going to head over to the next one. You guys stay tuned. Yeah, We're on the road, boys. We're going to go check the next feeder and add some corn to it since we don't have any more protein. But... Like I said, I'm gonna start taking some paths we haven't taken before to hopefully find some sheds or some schools or antlers of some of some kind. We're not really sure what we're gonna find, but since we got the old four-wheeler, you might as well take the path that we haven't been on since we pretty much stayed on the real, you know, like these guys, the old open path. So we'll see. We're gonna go ahead and go up some of these other cuts here and uh, I'll let you know if we find anything cool. All right, so behind me is the, the shop over there. Kind of hard to see. This is where the pond's straight over there, but. Look at this, there's a cut up this way. I'm gonna start seeing, oh yeah, there's an opening up here. We're gonna start kind of exploring a little bit. I told Banjo and Pudge, I said, I might just have to come out here by myself one day, because they'll probably be a little bored, unless we bring the other four-wheeler, and then it might not be as bad. But I could come out here and spend an entire day by myself on this four-wheeler, bring the camera with me, and uh, just bring you guys along for the journey. If you guys would want to see that, let me know. That is a scrape right there. You can see there's, we got deer poop. You can see where it's all ma mashed down and then they've been, they're look, licking branch and whatever is right up in there. So, I mean, deer are up here. This is a place that we hadn't really planned on hunting much since it's so close to the cabin, but it's really not that close to the cabin. We could potentially put a food plot or something up here. I mean, look at that trail. That is a one defined trail right here. Nice tree. I'm gonna keep driving around here. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh, we could 100% hunt this. I could clear all this out. Look at that open. There's some open spots here. The trail's right down there and the pond's that way is quite a way. But I'm gonna go up here and see if I find anything. Oh, what the heck is this? Who lost their ribbon? What's this guy? Someone lost their bow. I better keep that for, I don't know, later I guess. I can keep it in this. I never know what this compartment's for. We're gonna we're gonna make it for that for right now. Oh, this we could definitely hunt up here. This spot to me, this spot looks pretty good. Oh, there's a bunch of ribbon. Why is I have to go pick up this ribbon here? But right up in here, you can make a little food plot, just like a little little small section. That way, they're coming from their bedding area, which is probably up in there, and they're heading out that way. Might not be a bad spot. The whole idea is to kind of scout this place entirely, figure out where the deer are bedding, and then figure out where to put food plots that kind of intersect from their bedding area to where they go out to like the cornfields and stuff and eat. Assuming the fence comes down. The fence comes down, it obviously might change their patterns a little bit, but let's go up here and see what we 
fine. Oh, look at this trail. Oh, I think this this might go to the edge of the property where the fence is. Man, I'm I'm on shed alert though. I gotta I gotta find me a shed today. Now that I'm able to explore so many areas, I haven't been. Oh God, rip. All right, we're clear. Oh my God, look at this. This is wide open. What the heck? Oh, there's wait, what? There's cactus. Wait, hang on. What? You guys? Why is there a cactus? Anyone know cactus could grow up here? I didn't. I've never in my life. I've lived here my whole life. I've never seen a cactus. There's a patch of cactus right there. Oh, I don't even know where I'm. Wait, hang on. I'm not where I thought I was, boys. Look at that view. I'm on the top. I'm on the top of like the eastern section that we've never explored before. I didn't know I could get up here. I thought I was next to the fence. I thought we were by the edge of the property. We're nowhere near the edge of the property. The edge of the pro it go it goes way down there. Oh, this is wild. The boys are gonna be pissed. They're sitting there waiting for me to go to the next feeder, but dude, this is look at this. I have never been over here before. I am I am amazed right now. I've never I've never been over here. I didn't know this existed. There's there's cactuses everywhere. I, I feel like I'm on a different planet right now. This is just crazy. I did not I didn't know this was over here. I had absolutely no idea this was over here. For some reason I thought I was at the edge of the property. Look at all this. Wide open country. And I feel like this is probably where the deer are bedding, but it's also where I need to kind of look for sheds, good spots to look for sheds where they bed and stuff like that, but look at that, there's a whole ridge right there. This is just wild. Never been over here before, yeah. If you guys want to see it, I kind of want to do it. Whether I film it or not, let me know if you think I should film it. Just coming over here, this is what I've never been to. I had no idea where I'm at right now. If you guys would watch me come out here by myself, bring a hadmount, bring the vlog camera, and just explore and look for bones and sheds and antlers and all sorts of stuff like that. If you would see, if, even if that's not the entire video, but a chunk of a video, if you guys want to see that video, you'll have to let me know. Because I kind of want to do it regardless if I video it. And uh, if you want me to bring you guys along, you guys let me know. Well, anyways, I should probably get back and go to the other feeder before boys get too pissed. Shoo! How's it going? Did I, did I wake you from your nap? Yeah, well, Listen, let's, let, let, Listen, buddy, okay, I made it unintentionally to like the top of that mountain over there and you could like see everything. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, I think I'm by the fence on the east side. No, I was on top. I was on, I had a breaker in somehow. Yeah, I got to the top of that mountain. Above half speed? No, I kept it below half speed. Oh, Breaking monitor boy. How did you check the limits on this guy? The limits. How, how full is Big that limit. sucker? Oh, it's limited out. Is it full out? Is it is it empty or is it full? It's, 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 it's out. Nice. Banjo's a big corn file guy. Look at that. Bloody drizzled some for you. Not many deer come over here. I will say that. Like, I've That's had, very good. Full. Great. Is it full? It's full? Then I wouldn't put anything in here. I mean, you can throw some corn. Yeah, I'll just leave it. Just leave. Just 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 leave it. Just leave. It. I got it. We'll let that. We we want them eating it. We don't want them to not eat any more of it. So they just got some corn spread out. Hopefully attract them. For some reason the deer just don't come over here, or they're or they're scared of the feeder. It could be that. I, I mean, scared. the thing is they shouldn't be scared of this feeder because the other ones aren't either. But I would show you pictures, but there's really not much. I think we saw like one turkey on here, a couple does, not much. The other one, the last feeder, which is like down and around way that corner. That one we can throw the rest of this corn in because I think that they'll they'll enjoy that. But yeah, for some reason they don't like this feeder. What do you, why do you think that is? Yeah, give it, give us some of the raccoons. The raccoons could use it. There you go. All right, well, anyways, this feeder, not a whole lot going on. More than likely, we'll end up moving it. This is actually where we want to put the food plot, though. So maybe it's not a good place to put it. If the deer aren't coming to this, maybe they won't come to the food plot, or maybe this is not obviously the same thing as a food plot. Oh, God, rip. <laughs> Oh God, Rip! Hey, you settle down there, buddy. But we—I we, mean, we might put a food plot. We're not—we're not quite sure. We're still trying to study the deer and figure out what's all going on with all that. But with that being said, we're gonna keep exploring. We're gonna go down to that last feeder, and then I'm gonna go out on this guy and try to explore a little bit up. There's like a canal on the west side that we've never been down, um, and it seems fairly open, open enough to where I can think I could take this guy. Um, so we'll go kind of go explore that and see if we find anything cool. You guys stay tuned. Shoo! Made to the last feeder. This one's pretty full too. So I think the one by the cabin is. Just just, it's just the place to be, I guess. Like that's where most of the deer are. So if we, if where I went up there just a little bit ago, we might end up putting a food plot up there. Uh, our friend Garrett that came out and helped us put these up, he actually said to put one up there. I'm nervous about putting a food plot by the cabin just because of how much, how often we're gonna be at the cabin. You don't want to bump the deer if you, like you don't want to attract them to then bump them. That's like the worst thing you can do. But the amount of deer we got, them, I would say surpasses this one by a lot and the other one, but for sure. So we're gonna go put one bag of corn in here. Again, I doubt this one's gonna be empty by the time we can get some more feed. Um, so we're gonna put the fourth and final bag of corn in the one by the cabin just to make sure that one stays topped off and they keep i want them to keep coming back to the feeder that's the idea because they the more they come to the feeder the more that they sit there and munch on the little mineral and lick the mineral and do deer things by the mineral and whatever but that's kind of the idea so we do have some trail camera pictures to go over for this guy so stay tuned all righty folks so ready for this banjo yeah look at that 
Oh. That's a nice <laughs> Do you hear me? Oh. 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 There's not nearly as many here. I have no, and there, I don't think there's been any for at least a week. Now you got that, any more skunks? Now that I look at it. No, there haven't been any for a week. Do you think, what do you think? They don't like it? Deer or skunk? Deer. Oh. It's been, that it was empty for a week. Rip, they all die. And I think, well, I guess the camera could not be working. That's, mm, true. that's actually probably more. I can see probably. that. More than likely yeah. probably what it is. But just so you guys can see, I'm scrolling through. I mean, they're munching on it. There. It's not. Oh yeah, that one was getting yeah, it. Yeah, he's, he's, he's looking it. He's getting it. Yeah, I didn't think about the camera could be needing batteries or something changed but change. yeah because i guess we've been here and i haven't got a picture of us so. mm. uh, it's the, the it. camera that's a dude probably should change the batteries in that guy but um as you can see i mean we, lots of does like i said looking at trail cameras isn't going to be cool for probably a few more months until they start growing their antlers back because right now everything looks like a doe you can't really tell uh what's a shed buck and what's not especially on my phone sometimes if i put on a computer i can but i mean you can see they're they're, they're munching. here they're munching this spot and the spot by the cabin are the two best the one in the middle we have yet to get many deer there more raccoons than anything um but as you can see i mean we've got got quite a few there and the one so the one thing i will to say i've noticed they come here closer to like 9 8 9 10 a.m and the other one's like right at sunrise like 5 30 6 30 7 30 whatever like this is so they must be bedding further away this is farther from the roost hey that's one way to put it for the for for you duck hunters yeah. and turkey fellers technically yeah where they bed is the same thing as roost so they roost further away from this than they do the, the one by the cabin they roost close it doesn't take them as long or maybe or maybe 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 they they roost up there they go get their corn out in the ag field and then when they come back they get a snack so it's like a late morning because oh, okay. usually they go feed and then they go back to sleep exactly. snack guys. Yeah. i mean i mean that's that's kind of the idea the idea is it's just like a supplement they just munch on it and they kind of graze it's not supposed to be food food but mixing corn i feel like one will attract them uh, more though, like the, especially new deer that aren't used to this. They're used to corn, so they can eat the corn and stuff like that. So these guys are taken care of. I am going to grab the camera and I'm going to head that way. I'm going to see how far I can make it. That's a place we, we've never been anywhere really up there. And I might even actually not think, but I should, I might jump over there. I said in a video how much fun I had in, on this thing already. It may not be the entire video, but a good chunk of the video. Come out here for, for like a day and just wear like a head mount and just like, That'd be cool. just see where we can go. See yeah. what type of places we see what, see what we can find, whether it's sheds or bedding areas and stuff like that. Do some more exploration. Polar bear. Big polar bear guy. He think he thinks that they live out. I they might. They're still here. This if I was Bigfoot, I'd live here. Okay. Hundred percent. Yeah. So, anyways, let's see if we find anything cool. See you boys later. Have fun changing the batteries. We're gonna go find something cool. We're gonna go explore. Oh, we're gonna go across the creek. Start here. All right. So this is where it's pretty thick. I mean, this is putting this four wheeler to the test because I'm gonna have to. Oh, hey, how's it going? How you doing? Oh, how you doing, log? Okay. Yeah. Got it. Oh, yep. Yeah, okay. All right. We're gonna go follow the deer trail. But look at all these trails right here. Oh yeah, I bet we can find something. Find something cool. This, I would think the sheds maybe would be around here just because of how many uh, trails there are. There's like 10 trails. See, there's trails here, all through, I mean, literally trail, 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 tons and tons of trail. So, and I don't know, I feel like turkeys might hang out here. It kind of looks cool for turkeys. So I'll see if I see any signs of those guys, whether it's footprints or I guess whatever, whatever turkeys do. But there's a creek right there. That's the that's the creek actually that goes way, way, way up um, where we found like the bison bones, I think is what they were. So that ends up coming all the way down here. So anyways, I'm gonna keep exploring. I'm not gonna try to bore you guys talking too much, but if I find anything cool, I'll let you know. And look at that, what did I just say? If I find something cool, look at this school. That didn't take long. That looks like it may be a, shed, a small shed buck or it could be just a button buck, like a small, like a fawn that hadn't had his antlers yet. Right here, rip. He got, he got KO'd, but all right, well, that didn't take long. That took like two seconds, so let's keep looking. Woo, we're getting skinny here, boys. Phew, that was a skinny one. We got, looks like we got a big opening right up here. Oh, there we go. Let's see if I can get there. We got to bring out the old brush cutter and trim some of these trees. Make some more paths for us, but looks like there's an open look at that that's a hard trail right that you know those deer are using that so you can see it's all kind of blocked off kind of blocked off nice little open spot it looks like there's a clearing out here we're gonna check it out Shoo, look at this a little bit of paradise out here this is wide open i'm try, trying to think oh i've been wait hang on i've been here before we've explored this there's like an old tank right here the creek where we found those dinosaur bones are actually right there so i actually know where i'm at I'm actually gonna do something crazy, something I've never done. I don't know how crazy it is, but instead of going back through that, I'm gonna cut up through here, and I think I can make it to the other side of the property. And uh, I can make it back to the truck or back to the, the cabin uh, from, this, from this way. But this is crazy, look at this open spot. 
If this don't scream freaking food plot, I don't know what does. I feel like it's wide open for a reason. We gotta put a food plot in here. It's like so tucked away and so hidden. Even if we only hunted a couple of times, I feel like it would be a pretty cool spot to, to plant a food plot. Oh God, that's a big tree. Okay, all right. I'm not sure about, I'm not sure about the clearance on this one. This thing of a freaking skid plate. Look at this tree. I don't think there's a better way to get around either. That's where I, I just need to go right here and I'm good. All right, well, is this, I think this thing's got a skid plate. This thing got a skid plate. Ah, you'll be all right. Got to break it in somehow. I probably should have seen that one coming. This should do it. Come on, Sheila. I couldn't do it. In case you're wondering, the clearance of this sucker is not 24 inches. I tried so hard to make that work. I'm sure with enough time and enough logs, I'd get it figured out. I just needed some logs back there. I would have been fine. Well, I'm gonna flip a Yui. The boys are probably wondering where the heck I'm at. I got stuck. Really? Real bad. Really? Where at? I high centered it on a log. Nice. Oh, that's it. Yeah, that was a good time. Yeah. How'd you get out? Uh, I put it in reverse. Uh, back you it up. Charger dangling. Your battery's gone. Oh, you definitely lost the battery. It was there two seconds ago. Oh, rip. How'd you manage that? It was, it was literally, I just, I'll go look for it. It went through all that, I swear, I just saw it. Oh, oh, there, ah, there we go, yeah. Ah, I see it. It's right here. Ah, oh, we're good as gold. Ah, oh, that battery, that battery's good as new. Oh, you're, you'll, you'll buff right out. It'll be all right. You got it. You got it. Oh, yeah. Putting the mule inside the shop. That's what I'm talking about. You're good. Hell, yeah. Look at that. We got the mule in there and the new four-wheeler and tray, but we parked it. I'm all the way. You, you in? Yeah, I gave her a little tap. You get, oh, there you go. T tap the pole, Banjo. There you go. And we got new ATV all in here, locked away. Well... I should probably get out there. It's a little sunny. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. It's a little bit of a, little bit of a. Well, hang on. Hey, hey, hey. Shoot. Hey, should we? We should take this mule home. Okay. Why this? I don't want it here. It sucks. All right, we're we're taking the mule home. I forgot we have an empty trailer, so we might as well take the mule home. That mule, that tire has problems. I don't want to leave it here. I'd rather bring a different one. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. Like I said, if you guys want to see more explorations video with the ATV, I mean, you guys got a taste of what it's going to be like. Me going on non-trailed trails, literally getting it stuck. I might, I should bring a chainsaw next time and a chain. If I had a chain and a chainsaw, I could have cut the log up and moved it. It would have been all right. But there is so much to explore. So much. I just got a taste of it today. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video we are going to be ready to rock and roll for deer season getting the food plots ready to go good to go if you guys have any food plot tips let me know like i said if any of you guys have used those all in one behind the atv type plows and stuff like that where it plants and plows and whatever let me know i'm thinking about getting one but i don't know if it's actually good or if we should try something else if you have any suggestions let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are and peace